Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel and in honor of YouTube's Geek Week I thought I would help you find people of the internet figure out whether you are a nerd by revealing some somewhat embarrassing stories about myself. <laughs> so how do you know if you're a nerd? Well you're probably a nerd if the only movies to recently choke you up are The Dark Knight Rises and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Don't judge way too many feels with Alfred, and then when also in Harry Potter when they were putting up all the defensive spells, just, okay, I think we understand each other. If you decided to go back and rewatch seasons 1 through 5 of Digimon, yeah, you might be a nerd. However, this nerddom is only amplified <laughs> when you thereafter wake up from a nap because you're sleep deprived from trying to finish schoolwork while also catching up on Digimon episodes. And in your sort of half-awake state, you mentioned something about Digivolution that you're pretty sure freaked your parents out and made them think that you had gone insane. A little bit nerdy. Just a little bit. If Amazon sends you an email recommending geek boutique deals, yeah, might be a nerd. Also, Amazon really geek boutique? If you still remember the Green Power Rangers theme to call his Megazord, it's on the internet now. I did that. If you're actually seriously considering majoring in math, yep. I like to torture myself. <laughs> majoring in math. So much, so much fun. <laughs> if you were also legitimately annoyed at the cancellation of Young Justice, that's right, Cartoon Network. I see what you did. And I'm not a fan. You nasty. If you too are anxiously awaiting the return of Legend of Korra with book two, Avatar all the way. I cannot wait. It's a little bit unhealthy, but it's real. If you, on multiple occasions, have gotten into legitimate arguments about which comic book characters would win in a death match, I see you out there watching this video, and you know that you are wrong on every occasion. But it's fine. It's fine. Whatever. If you spend a decent chunk of time researching um, components for your new computer to make sure it would be modern game compatible, yep, probably a nerd. If you also, for many years while you were younger, participated in math competitions and really enjoyed them, then yeah, you're probably some kind of nerd. Also, probably ties into the whole majoring in math thing and, you know, masochism, yeah. If you scour wikis and IMDb searching for more information about movies and uh, franchises and fandoms, then yeah, you're probably some kind of nerd. And lastly, if you are just really passionate about something and you just go crazy over it and invest so much time in researching it and looking into it and finding out more about it, then yeah, you're probably some kind of nerd. And I think that's really the wonderful thing about being a nerd and the way that word has kind of been reappropriated in our society. Because honestly, being a nerd, I think it's a proud label because I think everybody should be nerdy or geeky about something. Um, it shows passion and it shows investment and I think it's sort of a healthy thing that a lot of people um, participate in in some manner one way or another. So, in the spirit of Geek Week, why don't you guys comment below what you geek out over? Movies, comics, video games, sports, politics, news, this list could go on forever so I'm gonna stop. But yeah, comment below. So yeah, it's just my little video on geekiness and nerddom and I hope you liked it. If you liked, drop a like comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Don't judge. I mean, are you kidding me with Albert? That was, that was too much. So many feels. I don't see Albert, right? Alfred! <laughs> If you, for many years while you were younger, participated in math competitions and actually really enjoyed them, then yeah, you're probably a nerd. 
It's for you. Nah, that was really awkward. Should really edit that out. <laughs>